and be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time, there are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No, I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword, looks. Look, there's a door just across the gap. Tear could be right there. Whoa! Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. The water flow's blocked. Jump! Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? Oh, the water's overflowing where you froze that trough. That's helpful. Could be a way to turn the wheel, no? Whoa! I certainly don't think this is where Tia currently is. He, he's gotta be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem. Brothers, with Fimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Across the way, there's another door. Maybe that's the one. anything? Huh. Glad we explored. But it is a mine after all. Namir, <laughs> that is discouraging. Uh, did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. Wait, where are you 
going? You will return. There's another door! Let's beat these guys and check them! <laughs> Now, shall we? I think we can go this way. A statue. Made for the Aesir. Indeed. And then stolen by Ulfjolf, the thief. Special equipment to use this.
that should keep the lift fully powered up. We're almost there. Outstanding! That overflowing water is powering the train. Clever. We'll be up there in no time. Water flowing over the side. That's it. Come on. Let's take that lift up. Tear can't be far. <gasps> that okay, sounded like new exercise. Let's think about how Tear's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. <gasps> Even if it was just to know I still could. Tear? Whoa! What happened here? This dwarf didn't make it out. Is that a relic? Huh. Feel a breeze. We might be able to get out of here this way. A 
another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. believe we're above where we got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. Should be clear now. Ready when you are. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Seems like we'll have to get to it first. We've used water to power the wheels before. Worth a try. Go! Well, that didn't quite work. Something else we can do? <laughs> Let's keep looking around. There's gotta be something else. 
Quite a cross. Look for another way. I think I see a crank over here. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Okay, it looks like this machine is dropping ore into the water trough. We still have to go back and check out that last door, right? to be still. <laughs> this looks familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine. I think I can hear something in there. A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the world mill. Built by Durin the Generous. <laughs> Another frog of old brother. You're on fire, Kratos! It will fire! <laughs> Another 
never broke a whole brother. Oh! <laughs> 
Aye. We fought it at the other drop hole, didn't we? Odd. Did you hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. <laughs> it came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Fine. I get it. Brothers. Wait. Is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bed clothes. I see what we must do. Go! Oh, my 
in there. This has to be it. Back to it then. Trickery is this Odin. What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Those plates. I know you. God killer. Have you come for me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Brother, let me try. Tear. Tear. Look. You know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! Why? Atreus! This way! Cut him off! 
I'm about to get knocked around a bunch, aren't I? the last of them. Let's find your son. Alone. Tear, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get yeah, you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe, I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You? Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? Here. Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I, I don't... Always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... there's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there <laughs> names by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know Mimir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Jotnar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. <clears throat> I remember that name. She tried to help people too. She's in the light of Alphon now. I have my sympathies. Let me get that. It's the least I can do. 
Whoa. I risk Odin's wrath to free me. Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Oh, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah. You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all killed, Beck. Watch out! Uh, it's okay. I've got you. <laughs> attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to.
Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... Or worse yet, lead you to it... Then kill me, now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. for a good night's rest and maybe some food I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner brother perhaps now you'd like to finish the story uh, the sons of Thor attacked us we killed them Baldur tried to kill Freya I killed him but you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the Giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. And finding the shrines The Giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... Dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa. What are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ain Hriar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Look out! Oh. Oh. Too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are. were. very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Treehouse. Lord Tear, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Oh, still. 
Hold still. Yep. Oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, dear. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr, sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you! I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. And I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space. So that's what's left of Tyr, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? Some food, then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hardtack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I... With a pinch of salt. Well, I'll see what I can find. Good or what? I'll just look quietly. <clears throat> Appreciate it. I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the All Father's eye on me. What are you thinking, brother? to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. Oh. But we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So you know where Frey is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound?
Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. You seem to have dashed uh, out without mine. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Yep. Remember how to Just get there? Just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened. And I need answers. So easy, huh? Shut up! So, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Lift's broken. Accidental magic's later. not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. And I lost control. Bray knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... venomous? Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Get off of it. Yes! Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Oh, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. What the war? It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. And I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. Looks like there's something hidden by the oarsmen. If only I had a way to burn this. Yes. If only your father were here. That's not what I said. I can't see the other side of the panel from here. Can you? Maybe you need a higher vantage point. Huh? 
Impossible. Now, let's not release the bear. <laughs> Good point. If only I knew how. No, no. Not your worst idea today, but still no. Maybe we need to retrace our steps. There's gotta be something we missed. So Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment, and well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching. You said you need to touch them. I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Yup! A little help would be nice. Uh, okay. Right, I'll just... sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Yoppa! Shoot. I 
I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, do you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? There! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all. I think it means. It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. The door's frozen. Maybe I can. So what was your plan, anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Huh? 
Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. Oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet vessel, I wish it did. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I lied it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Just keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. 
We can't just do nothing, and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option! Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Sandstone. That takes care of that. could see me now he would lose it I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me how can I trust you if you lie actually that's a good point <clears throat> maybe if you listen to me could I not say the same well where do you think I learned it from Going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? Be up.
I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Ugh, nightmare.
I got this, right? Yeah, I got this. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. there hey come to your senses yet yes I mean uh, I'm not changing my mind ha you do have doubts hey like you never do better than having regrets I'm not sure I agree with that but by all means keep going and you might find those too yep that's the door <laughs> Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably would mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. goes nothing. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Father, where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What Gosh. makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin. Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecies, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I, 
I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again, I am far from whole. Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfan. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. It's a good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think... Sindri, I told you. I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh... Where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh... Got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me. How did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Yopa! I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be... standing back here. So patient! Repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Ha! Oh. Ha! Ha! Oh. Do they ever quit? Yo! 
Alphine Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls and Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? Now? Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well... You can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure... Now Just hang on, to... little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked well, up. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you... Just act natural, but quickly. Go, go, go. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. <sighs> Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Oh. 
Sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. <sighs> I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? <sighs> I'm sure that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim, home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that interest he'll see for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. will be of use. How can I help? May it strike true. Want something in particular? Kratos?
That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? Poor souls. Fighting the ace here is a thankless job, as you well know. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tames the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're ratted Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed ratted Hosker. The one you know as ratted Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. Svortalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky.
Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Pray a dream. coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I 
see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Dares up. Huh? <laughs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. <laughs> Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh! I didn't know it could do that. brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. <laughs> Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who bring the light. <laughs> Go! 
More will follow once we're inside. There's truly no other way. Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. The beat to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... 
That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. <laughs> Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... Best just to let these two do their thing, brother. Light Elf! Watch out! bridges but now the bridges are gone I have an idea to get us across <laughs> lucky for us swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture this way shrine awaits <laughs> It looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just a few soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up they go. Great. This way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. I see. By all means. Yeah. Things smell yeah. awful. Anything uh interesting this way? Yeah! <laughs> 
We continue. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Gracia. Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain? Light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back.
behind you, father! I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The dark elves want the souls of the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate, perhaps your axe can reach it.
work. Thanks, dear. My pleasure. I'd be explored. Angle looks right. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes. Right side! Incoming! Come on! Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, Thor. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Behind! 
Meet you on the other side. Whoa, Tyr can really jump. Mystic doesn't see us. There's Twilight Stone on the ground. I wonder if we can use Twilight Stone against them. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Lidor, throw your weapon at it! Go! figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try.
And here we go again. Maybe you can throw those back at them! And here we go. Come on, 
Alright, Kratos, off your back! Here we go again. Left side, incoming! <laughs> Here we go again.
another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freya not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long before his arrival. He had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. I'll find perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path. Regardless of where they end. Getting stuck on the wing. Must be a way to move this statue's twilight stone to get the right angle.
there. Over there.
Look, over there.
Look, over there. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartli Offer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Job, brother. This way. <laughs> Do you still hear something wounded out there? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we should investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Your mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When father went inside the light, he you said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. 
You must tell me, Kratos. What did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this Hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this I... war? I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us.
outfit. Wear it with pride. Ooh, these'll look fantastic in my storage chest. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. 
fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Focus on our egress first. Agreed. Maybe you can throw those back at us. Huh! <laughs> 
This way. Another nightmare to the left. Up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. Oh! 
Far from over. I. It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? Elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. 
So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Dark Elf Assault? How fortuitous! Don't think of fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone? Ah! <laughs> 
We leave now, please. Almost there. This way. Here. We open the gateway, please. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, 
Okay, then. Good. Yeah. Lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up top <laughs> once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. <laughs> Fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Whatever you need, I'll create. Have we more to talk about? <gasps> What are these animals? Go on. Native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? <laughs> a tempting treasure chest! Damn the sand! Look, there's a cave entrance. <gasps> underneath the desert is the creature within yeah sounds like it we'll find it if we keep going what is this place a refuge for the dark elves by the looks of it one of the few remaining now there's a bar from the temple great Oh! <laughs> 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 
Twilight Stone give you the angle you need, brother. about the Dark Elves. I wish we didn't have to fight They attack them. us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alfarm, can you really blame them? Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader.
The creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. before. When I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. Go! Oh. 
we're doing the right thing? If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Well, no. I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of Dark Elves to get there... I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're Elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elf? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay.
Bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Moons. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. There's got to be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. can't get out. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Afghifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark health friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alpine's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. Ah! <laughs> 
This is the spot. We can cut the half Koopa loose here. Flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but we don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. we fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. But perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. I gotta remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... myself.
Mimir, wouldn't you prefer to face forward rather than backward? We already tried. There were issues with Viscera. Oh. There was a brief bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Oh. What is that? is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, on my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? That's not just dirt. It's not dirt. We were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. 
They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. Enough. We will continue later. A harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not, and would prefer it remain that way. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the lake of souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The lake of souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Returning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches, they fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical? Aye, aye. But twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Oh! 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 
What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. You said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of it? Aye. Form, mind. Direction and luck. Lose any one of them and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes... Luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky.
think I need. Socks. What has happened? They're wet. They will dry. You know, I just knew you were gonna say. Then why did you ask? I'm really not sure. They will dry. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. There's another storm out that way. I think that means. Another half gufa. Bloody drop. Brother, I had a thought. Hold that thought. I think it's about to get vile. It's back!
Tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alphon, but that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonga. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. <laughs> Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. The god. <laughs> yes. Like your mother's. crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No.
May it strike true. And Atreus? What'll it be? This must be from Alfheim. Explains the, uh, ugh, sand. Well, I hope Tyr's had enough time to find this equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. <sighs> what I else have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Well, good luck out there. Oh, sorry, that's it. Yeah, that's... we're done. <laughs>
Go away now. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. <laughs> You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone.
butt hurt. I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let's go! Ruma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run whatever. off! Whatever. Can you tell whatever. me where whatever. I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Am I? Okay, guess I'll see you around the other side. Ooh! Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? <laughs> Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. <laughs> Sent? What's that? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I, I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you too.
tell me if you were going to eat me? <laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been... Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angraboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me... Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. Right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Thola. I'll, uh, take my own path. So, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Iron Woods. So, 
I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Let alone for searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. The Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants were all supposed to be... giant. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Whoop. Watch out! Ah. Jump him! Someone fight a dropper that. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So, what were you doing before you came here? Surviving Fumble once. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sinji would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? You Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. <sighs> Can't believe they're nightmares there, too. Diablo! It's just something my father... You know what? Never mind. Totally. The alpha. Yeah! <laughs> 
I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah. I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... <sighs> yeah. I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. I'm sorry. Two. Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! I can slow down! Well, then you should know how to beat them. It's usually not so lively around here. 
Guess I'm just lucky. Nah, you're just lucky. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Here. Gold. Isn't that been your magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you mm -hmm. live here? This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For many giants, there okay. is beauty. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes, it was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh? Wonder who he is. Wait. No, no, it's not right. That can't be what happens. Oh, no, 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 this isn't real. Ironwood's not real, the Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, you're okay. Okay, you're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Oh, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future. It says I serve Odin and my father dies. There's just no way. Look, this is the only way things turn out. The sooner you accept that, the better. Oh, shit. That was mean, too. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff.
Come on. <laughs>